Hello and welcome. We have a new module that greatly enhances style transfer for portraits by Leighton Diffusion here on YouTube. He has a great tutorial that runs through all the major features. Big shout out. Check out his video. Link will be in the description. This video that I have right here will run through a no hassle, streamlined workflow that I like to use for my styling tasks. To get started, you want to go to Cubic and follow the special instructions, link will be in the description, to get and install the extension for the instant ID. Next, you want to go to my GitHub and just grab the workflow I have or just reconstruct what you see from my workflow in this video. Now let's get started by jumping straight into the workflow. We start over here from the left and we just progress over to the right. So we have our inputs, then we apply a module optionally if you hit apply tagger to prompt. If you apply a tagger, what will happen is it will take this image right here find out what's in it and then add that to the uh, positive prompt if you want more consistency or you want your final image to look more like uh, the content image that's one way to go about it after this we apply the instant id this breaks down the face and it's able to reconstruct the face pretty accurately in different styles after this uh, we use IP adapters to further apply the styling of this. So the prompt and this will combine to give us our final result, which we'll see in just a little bit. So let's see how uh, our results are. Tag her off, IP adapter on. And now we have the output image right over here. So we can see this transforms using this style prompt as well as our IP adapter and our instant ID to give us this final image which looks like a combination of both our content and style. And this is all customizable and configurable. You can make it look more like the style image by changing the IP adapter. If you bump the weight up over here under a apply IP adapter, you will have it look more like this. The same, the reverse is also true. And if you want it to look more like this content image, you can choose to apply the IP adapter or the tagger module, I should say. You can change some of the prompts over here or you could turn up the both IP weight and control net strength of the instant ID module in the middle over here. So the world is open and you can see just how simple it is to get a, uh, to apply any style that you have a picture of to an image. This is quite incredible. I want to thank the developer of this package, the uh, instant ID package, which just came out. It makes it as easy as pie to just transfer faces. Please like and comment and thank you for watching.